Alrighty, I'm going to try to show you how to upload an entity instead of creating it manually in Dialogflow. Alright, so you have to have an agent picked already. So then you go to the entities and you go up here where it says create entity, but what you do is you go right here by these three dots, go upload entity, and it tells you right here you can upload in CSV or JSON format tells you a little bit about it make sure that you kind of follow the format csv files should have the following format each entry corresponds to a new line the reference value and synonyms should be separated by commas each reference value and synonym should be enclosed in double quotes the reference value should be at the beginning of the line include the reference value twice if you want it to be matched by the entity all right, so what I did already was I used Google Sheets to create a CSV. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to hit Choose File. And I'm going to find it, so I just called it CSV Template. I hit Open, and if it's successful, it's going to tell you right here, File CSV Template.csv, uploaded successfully. And then you go back, and there it is. And so what it did was um, my first column on the sheet was called entity name. And then all of these were the next columns. So if I go to the sheet, just to show you what I did. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. It will be good. So here it is right here. So I'm just going to double click to open it. Hopefully it opened in a second or two. And so that's basically what I did. I went across. So the first column is the entity name and then everything else are the items that are going to be in the entity and so I made quite a few I think I went all the way to 80 and then what I did was um, it actually started out as a Google Sheets page and then I saved it or downloaded it as a um, CSV and so that's really all there is to it if you have an error it will if you pay attention to what the error says it gives you some hints I have noticed that sometimes it's a little particular. So even though this is one column, um, sometimes it thinks these other rows, I'm sorry, even though it's one row, sometimes it thinks these other rows are part of it and it gives you an error. But um, this, it works for me. So give it a try. Thanks. See you later. Bye.